I, I love how you separated the two trainer and coach, because I mean, that makes total sense is like, um, you know, Teddy Atlas fireman speech comes to mind. You know, it's like, he's being a coach there. He's not being a trainer. No, he's not. All the training's me. done. You hey, know, turn your, he's not telling you to turn your hand over a little bit more. You know, you, you know, you, you know, you, you, you know, you know, and, and, and you do got to, I think a good coach is also a good trainer as well, though. Don't, don't, don't get me twisted. You know, at the yeah. end of the day, you got, you do want to be able, you, know, you got to have good eyes for this, for this game. And, 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 and again, be able to communicate that, but you're exactly right. When he goes back, he gives a fireman speech. Who was that? Timothy Bradley, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting there, you know, you know, he, he you know, he gets real animated. You know what I mean? He goes to another <laughs> he level. He gets with intense, it. dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, 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 and that works for something. And some people that doesn't work for too as well. So, but obviously a guy like, to, you know, with the level that Teddy Alice is off, obviously he looks at a guy, he knows his athlete and he knows his fighter. And he knows that that's going to, you know, put some fire in his ass. You know, some, some, you There'll be a fighter that I can get, uh, I can get a little bit fucking crazier with, and there's a fighter that I got to be a little more calmer with because you know, you, knowing your athlete and knowing the way they tick, you know, knowing the way they think, you know, you got to be able to make that adjustment as well. Like you said, you know, the master of languages, you know, you got to be able to communicate, you know, with that individual. You know, not everybody hears it the same way. So, you know, obviously Timmy, Timothy Bradley needed a good fucking fireman he ass really kicking. <laughs> hey, it helped. <laughs> it definitely yeah. helped. I feel um, like he was kind of winning the fight already as it was. <laughs> yeah. It? <laughs> yeah. But I, mean, I mean, maybe Teddy just saw something. Maybe he thought he was super tired or something. Maybe, maybe he, he saw something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Something that we, we have no idea about. All we see is the YouTube video and that's it. You know, there might be right. some stuff in the background. Hell, maybe there was an injury we didn't know about, you know? Sure. Um, now, when you are with fighters in a training camp, how much time do you actually spend with them? I mean, is it like every day you they come in to train like twice a day or something like that? Do you guys have a, a time where you just sit down and you just chat and then you talk about the fight? Is there like, like, is there how do you kind of divide up what you're doing? Is, yeah. If it's not a secret, I guess. No, there's no secret. I mean, there's, yeah. there's really no secret to anything. For me, the, for me, when I see guys doing secret, when I see cornermen fucking speaking in another language, I don't mean other language. Like the call codes, signs and stuff. But they like, do code like, hey, blue, green, fucking 69. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, that to yeah. me is just insanity. But it is what it is. And it might work for the, I, I don't, I don't see it consistently be, you know, a high level guy, I think, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it's, 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 there doesn't need to be you know, this crazy language going on, but whatever yeah. it's, you know, it, it teaches out. Right. Um, but I usually, I like to spend, I, I like to get a five day a week with people, you know, sometimes six, Mackenzie Duran likes to come six days a week. She'd come seven if it was up to her, you know what I mean? And, and, and I got to, you know, there's people like that. There's people like her, Cheeto Vera and whatnot, who you got to kind of, you got to put the reins on, you got to slow them down a little bit, but you know, I tend to spend, you know, five days a week with my athletes, you know, we get our, you know, you know, our couple hours in the gym and a lot of times, you know, you know, during camp and when it gets close to the fights, we get, you know, six to, you know, eight, six weeks out, five weeks out, there becomes a lot more communication. I, I definitely spend a lot of time, you know, sometimes, and I tell, and B- Bisping used to say this all the time, and he loved it. He's like, oh, I would say we, we would we would train, and a lot of times we'd end up talking for a good 45 minutes to an hour and a half or whatever after, and it would just be a lot of a lot of talking, talking about fighting, talking about him, talking about, you know, just what, you know, what we're looking to do, the whole nine yards. And I used to say, you know, this right here, this conversation we're having is just as valuable and it's just as important as the last two hours of physical activity we're doing. You do realize that. That. And they order it, and, and every one of them that I says re, it does register with them, and they, and they agree with it 100%. You know, I just do I watch film with my athletes? Sometimes I do, you know, so like a lot of times they'll watch it, I'll watch it on their own, and we'll communicate and talk about it, you know. But really, I, I you know, I, I, I spend a lot of time with, with, with my fighters trying to get them to do what we're looking to do in the fight and not focus so much on, you know, we, we, we want to look out for what the other athlete or the other fighters coming in and do to us, 
you know, but, you know, uh, we want to go out and make it our fight usually. And I want to, you know, you know, put that in the mindset of my athletes. The mindset is everything to me. It really is. I come from my coach. My coach established that in my head, how important this mental game is. And, and we're not talking about, we're talking about all athleticism, you know, your football, baseball, basketball, hockey, I don't get just golf. What the fuck you're playing? This is, this is, this is what separates the men from the boys. This is what separates the champions from the, from the contenders. And it, and it just is what it is, you know, and do you have to have the physical ability? Yes. You know, but I'm not, you know, there's a lot of, the, your physical ability can get you through the regional circuit. You know, the, mm-hmm. the your physical ability can get you through, you know, you know, the regionals and in the, 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 the low, it can get you in the top 50. You know what I mean? The top yeah. 20, maybe even, you know what I mean? But once you start getting into the elite athletes and the elite fighters and the you know, elite, elite competitors, it, you know, this is the most important, you know, piece of the puzzle. And, and that's where I really pride myself on, on helping my athletes and strengthening their mind and, and you know, and, and giving them, you know, proper direction.